Picture this. A pitch black deserted highway stretches out into the distance. Out of the darkness a pair of bright headlights suddenly emerge, casting long, eerie shadows. The silent night is pierced by the low hum of a car's engine, the only sound in this desolate landscape. Alone in the car a weary traveler named John is setting out on a late night journey. His eyes, heavy with fatigue, are alert and focused on the hypnotic rhythm of the road. Out of nowhere the silence inside the vehicle is shattered. The car radio, previously silent, flickers to life and static fills the air. Hidden within this cacophony of noise an eerie voice whispers a name, John's name. His heartbeat pounds in his ears as fear grips him. He looks around, but he's alone, isn't he? He had checked the back seat, hadn't he? The whispering persists, growing louder with each passing second, amplifying the sense of dread and fear. He glances at the rearview mirror half expecting a face staring back at him but all he sees is an empty back seat. The chilling whisper doesn't stop. What follows next will surely grab the viewer's attention leaving them on the of their seats, anxious yet eager to see the rest of the video unfold. Next we have a tale of a good Samaritan who picked up a hitchhiker on a stormy night, a decision that would haunt him for the rest of his life. As the heavens opened up, making the night darker and more menacing, our protagonist found himself driving down an isolated road. The rain was relentless, beating against the car's windshield, making visibility nearly impossible. Yet in the midst of this tempest he noticed a figure on the side of the road, drenched and seemingly in distress. Despite the inhospitable weather and the late hour, his innate kindness compelled him to stop and offer the stranger a ride. The hitchhiker, a seemingly harmless man, climbed into the passenger seat grateful for the shelter. He was quiet, with a faraway look in his eyes, and his presence filled the car with a strange, chilling energy. As the journey continued, the hitchhiker's behavior grew increasingly peculiar. He would murmur to himself, his voice barely audible over the pounding rain, and occasionally, he would laugh, a hollow sound that sent shivers down the protagonist's spine. The atmosphere in the car became thick with unease. The protagonist's initial act of kindness was slowly being replaced by a sense of dread, but he dismissed these feelings as mere products of his imagination. Yet, he couldn't shake the feeling that something was amiss. Then, the hitchhiker asked to be dropped off at a particular address. It was an old house the protagonist recognized but one that had been abandoned for years. As they pulled up to the dilapidated structure, the hitchhiker turned to him, his eyes reflecting an eerie glow. In a voice that seemed to echo from the depths of the afterlife, the hitchhiker revealed his true identity. He was a man who had lived in that very house, a man who had perished in a car accident on this very road many years ago. The protagonist, paralyzed with fear, could only watch as the apparition's form began to fade. In a final chilling moment, the phantom hitchhiker thanked the protagonist for his kindness, his voice slowly fading away with his form, and then, in the blink of an eye, he was gone. He was left alone in the car, the seat next to him empty, the hitchhiker had vanished, leaving behind only a cold chill and a dreadful whisper in the wind. This tale, a chilling reminder of the unknown entities that may lurk on our roads, serves as a warning to all. For the next time you find yourself driving alone on a stormy night, remember the phantom hitchhiker, and pray that you never encounter a passenger as unearthly as this one. Our final story tonight is of a truck driver who encountered a specter on a lonely stretch of highway, a specter that had a terrifying message for him. Picture this folks, a weary trucker, navigating the desolate expanse of a highway that stretched on for miles. The only company he had was the hum of his 18-wheeler and the haunting melody of a late-night radio show. It was on this lonely stretch of road that our trucker first saw the specter. It was a fleeting silhouette that seemed to dance in and out of the shadows, an ethereal figure that seemed to be both there and not there at the same time. What struck the trucker first was not the specter's appearance, but its voice. It was a chilling whisper that seemed to seep into his truck's cab, a voice that seemed to be carried by the wind itself. The specter spoke of an impending doom, a forewarning of a calamity that was yet to come. The trucker, a man of steel nerves, felt a cold shiver run down his spine. The specter's message was cryptic, yet terrifying. In a panic, the trucker tried to escape, to outrun the specter. He pressed his foot down on the accelerator, the roar of his engine echoing in the night, but no matter how fast he drove the specter seemed to keep pace, its haunting whisper still echoing in the cab. It was a futile chase, a terrifying game of cat and mouse that seemed to stretch on for an eternity. Despite his initial fear the trucker couldn't help but feel a sense of morbid fascination. Who was this specter? Why had it chosen him? 
And what did its eerie message mean? These questions plagued his mind as he drove on, the specter's voice still echoing in his ears. He could still hear the specter's haunting message echoing in his ears as he drove off into the night, forever marked by his encounter on the highway. These stories serve as chilling reminders that the open road can sometimes hide terrifying secrets. Each tale we've shared today has its own unique brand of horror, yet they all share a common thread, the unexpected terror that lurks on our highways. The unseen passenger, the phantom hitchhiker, the roadside specter, they all serve to remind us that the unknown can be a source of dread, especially when we're alone on the road in the dead of night. Let's revisit these stories for a moment. First we encountered the unseen passenger, a chilling tale of an invisible entity that made its presence known in the most unsettling ways. A simple car ride turned into a nightmare, leaving the driver forever marked by the experience. It's a stark reminder that sometimes, even in the safety of our own vehicles, we're not truly alone. Next we journeyed into the story of the phantom hitchhiker, a spectral figure haunting the highways, appearing and disappearing at will. The sheer unpredictability of this entity coupled with the chilling realization of its ghostly nature leaves us with a lingering sense of unease. It's a tale that underscores the fact that not every passerby on the road can be trusted, and some might not even be of this world. Finally we delved into the eerie tale of the roadside specter, a ghostly apparition appearing out of nowhere, causing fear and panic. This specter, a chilling reminder of a tragic past, turns an ordinary roadside into a place of dread. Who knows what other spectral remnants of the past might be lurking on our highways, waiting to make their presence known. These stories, true as they may be, remind us that the open road, often seen as a symbol of freedom and adventure, can also be a place of mystery and fear. They leave us with a lingering feeling of unease, a subtle reminder that we're never truly alone on the highways. So the next time you find yourself on a deserted highway remember these tales and drive safe. You never know what might be lurking in the